you're a freelancer and you want to know the benefits of package pricing, well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use package pricing to help increase your profits and make it easier for clients to work with you. Hi, I'm Mike, Mr. Process Mahoney, and today I'm going to break down all the benefits of package pricing so you can make an informed decision about whether or not it is right for your business. How can freelancers create a package that's right for them and their clients? It's a great question. There are a few key things to keep in mind when creating your package. Decide what services you'll offer and group them together logically. Think about what your target market needs and design your package accordingly. Make sure your pricing is in line with the value you are offering. Creating a package can be a great way to increase your profits and make it easier for your clients to work with you. Keep these things in mind and you'll be on your way to success. Now, are there any drawbacks to using package pricing for freelancers and their clients? Of course there are. There are a few things to keep in mind when you use package pricing. You'll need to be clear about what's included in the package and what is not. There may be some clients who only need one of the services you offer and they may not be willing to pay for the entire package. You'll need to make sure your pricing is competitive and in line with the value you are offering. Overall, package pricing can be a great way to increase your profits and make it easier for clients to work with you. So how do you know when it's time to change your package pricing or offer a new one altogether? Well, there are a few simple things to keep in mind when you're changing your package pricing. Make sure you have a clear understanding of your clients and, and your own costs and what you need to do in order to make a profit. Consider the value that you're offering and make sure your price is in line with that value. Pay attention to what your competitors are doing and make sure that you're priced competitively. One of the biggest problems package pricing solves is that it focuses on the value your services provide rather than the time you spend with them. So how do you go about renegotiating package pricing with current or past clients? So you've decided you're gonna use package pricing. So how will you rene renegotiate with these past and current clients? Well, there's a few things to keep in mind when renegotiating package pricing. Be clear about what the new terms are and why you're proposing them. Listen to feedback and be willing to compromise. Don't be afraid to walk away from the negotiation if it isn't going in your favor. Be prepared to sweeten the deal with additional services or discounts. Now with that in mind, here are a few tips for successfully renegotiating package pricing. Define the new terms and explain your reasoning. When you're proposing new terms, it's very important to be clear about what those terms are and why you think they're fair. If you can show that the new package price is based on market rates or the value of the services being provided, that will help bolster your case. Clients may not always be happy about paying more, but they'll be more understanding if they see that the price increase is justified. Be sure to listen to feedback and be willing to compromise. Once you've explained your proposal, be prepared to listen to the feedback from your client. They may have their own ideas about what's fair, and it's very important to be open to compromise. If you can reach an agreement that everyone is happy with, that's the best case scenario. However, if the negotiation isn't going in your favor, don't be afraid to walk away. Be prepared to sweeten the deal in some cases. You may need to sweeten that deal in order to get the client on board with your new package pricing. Now, This could involve offering additional services or discounts on future projects. If you can show that the overall value of the package is still a good deal for the client, they're going to be more likely to agree to the new terms. Renegotiating package pricing with clients can be challenging, but it's a necessary task for any business. By being clear about your proposal, listening to feedback, and being prepared to compromise, you'll be in a good position to reach a fair agreement that works for both parties. So if you got value out of this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time new videos like this come out from Top Tier Coaching Services.